Welcome back to Exploring Consciousness with an Anesthesiologist. I'm Christopher Voss, MD, MS, FCCP, a board-certified anesthesiologist. Today, we'll take another step forward in our journey into consciousness. In this sixth episode, we're diving into the intriguing research on psilocybin and its potential connections to quantum consciousness and the holographic universe. Before we dive in, I want to emphasize that psilocybin is a Schedule I controlled substance in the United States, meaning it is illegal outside of regulated research environments or limited religious practices. I do not endorse or recommend its use outside legal frameworks, but the science being conducted at top institutions like Johns Hopkins University and Imperial College London is fascinating and offers significant insights into the nature of consciousness. Revisiting Quantum Consciousness and the Holographic Universe We've talked before about the holographic universe, which might sound a bit abstract, so here's a simpler analogy. Imagine you're looking at a 3D hologram of a car. You see the full, detailed shape, but in reality, that hologram is just a projection from a flat surface. Similarly, some scientists suggest that what we perceive as reality might be a projection from deeper dimensions. Consciousness, in this sense, could be part of that projection, much like light shining through film to create an image. This makes consciousness something more fluid and connected to the universe. We've discussed how quantum mechanics, particularly the phenomena of superposition and entanglement, could help explain how consciousness might be interconnected across the universe. Now, let's see how the research on psilocybin is adding layers to these ideas. Think of your brain like a bustling city with neighborhoods, brain regions, that usually keep to themselves, doing their own thing. Under normal circumstances, only certain parts of the city are connected by bridges, and those bridges allow for limited communication. When psilocybin enters the picture, it's like adding a bunch of new bridges. This is what researchers call brain hyperconnectivity. These bridges open up connections between neighborhoods that wouldn't normally interact. All of a sudden, the city becomes more interconnected, allowing for a flood of new ideas and sensations to move freely across areas that were once isolated. People report feeling deeply connected to everything, which is similar to what quantum consciousness suggests, that we are all interconnected by an invisible web of energy and information. This brain hyperconnectivity also resembles the concept of superposition in quantum mechanics. Imagine a light switch in your room that's both on and off at the same time. In the quantum world, particles can exist in multiple states until observed much like the brain under psilocybin, where multiple brain regions, normally isolated, are connected at once, creating new potential states of consciousness. Another quantum concept relevant here is entanglement. Think of it like a pair of dice. Once entangled, rolling one die affects the outcome of the other, no matter how far apart they are. Similarly, in quantum entanglement, particles share information across vast distances instantaneously. This can be likened to how psilocybin might dissolve the boundaries between the self and the external world, making you feel deeply connected to everything around you, just as if the mind is part of a larger quantum network. Brain Connectivity and the Quantum Mind To make sense of brain hyperconnectivity, think of it as switching from a basic radio to a high-tech satellite radio system. Under normal conditions, the brain acts like a basic radio, only tuning into certain stations at a time. When psilocybin is introduced, the brain gets upgraded to a satellite system with access to tons of new channels all at once. This sudden influx of new signals allows people to experience their surroundings and their thoughts in completely new and unfamiliar ways. Now, in terms of quantum consciousness, this could mean that the brain is tapping into different frequencies of reality just like a quantum system that can exist in multiple states until it's observed. Psilocybin might be giving the brain a way to access deeper layers of reality, allowing for a much broader and interconnected view of existence. Ego Dissolution and Quantum Consciousness Let's break down ego dissolution in a fun, easy-to-understand way. Imagine you're walking around in a virtual reality game where you have a set avatar, a character that represents you. Normally, you're totally focused on being that character, what you look like, what you can do in the game, and how you interact with the virtual world. Now imagine someone takes off your VR headset. Suddenly, the game world disappears, and you realize you're part of a much bigger reality outside the game. In a way, that's what ego dissolution feels like under psilocybin. 
It's as if your brain temporarily removes the headset of self-awareness, letting you see beyond your individual identity and connect with everything around you. In the realm of quantum consciousness, this experience may reflect how, at the deepest level, we're not isolated selves but part of a larger, interconnected quantum field where the boundaries between us and the universe dissolve. Practical Implications for Understanding Consciousness Here's another relatable analogy for psilocybin's effects on consciousness. Imagine you're in a room with frosted glass windows. You can see vague shapes and outlines of what's happening outside, but the view is fuzzy and limited. Now picture someone suddenly wiping the frost off the glass, and for the first time you can see the full, vivid landscape outside. This is what happens to consciousness under psilocybin. It's like the brain's filters are temporarily lifted, giving you a clearer and more expansive view of reality. The interconnectedness you feel under psilocybin could be similar to quantum entanglement, where particles across the universe are mysteriously connected, no matter how far apart they are. This kind of experience opens the door to thinking about how consciousness may work on a quantum level, constantly interacting with the deeper, more complex layers of reality. A cautious and scientific approach to psilocybin. Let's keep in mind that while these experiences are fascinating and offer new ways to understand consciousness, psilocybin is a Schedule I substance. It is illegal outside of regulated medical or religious settings, and more research is needed to fully understand how it works. The studies we're discussing today, led by top institutions like Johns Hopkins University and Imperial College London, show how this compound might offer us valuable insights into consciousness, but we need to approach these findings with a balanced, scientific mindset. Research on psilocybin is opening up new ways to think about consciousness particularly in how it connects to quantum mechanics and the holographic universe. The dissolution of the ego and the brain's hyperconnected state under psilocybin provide a glimpse into how consciousness might extend beyond the self and into a quantum field. The question remains, could these findings help us unlock the true nature of consciousness and our place in the universe? As always, I encourage you to stay curious. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on future discussions about consciousness. Also, for more information and to follow this journey into consciousness, visit us at medspecialists.net.